welcome back to my channel so as you can see in the title i'm just going to be trying out um new products i received this is all gratis for my job so i'm very very lucky to have the job that i do and be able to get stuff like this uh, but yeah most of it is fairly new and we got a good amount of stuff this month and i just felt like i could film a video on this video. Like I got a concealer, a primer, a foundation, um, a highlighter, new brow product, a mascara, and I'm also going to try out a Bare Minerals matte, um, liquid lip color. I wasn't too sure about these, that's why I never tried them out, and we do have them in our store. But again, I didn't hear anything amazing about these, so I'm going to try this out, and it's a pretty color. But yeah, yeah so let's just go ahead and get started because my face feels hella tight right now. Um, because I did um, shower and I washed my face and everything. All I did was use um, my cleanser, obviously, and then the Bosha Saki water treatment. And I was ready for my moisturizer. Um, I'm going to be using the Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So this one right here. This one's fairly new. It's really talked about right now. Um, so with this one, it says it gets a 24-hour hydration. And what else? It says, Primerizer was created in our LA photo studio to replenish moisture and prep skin for makeup in one step. This non-greasy, quick-dry formula acts as a makeup magnet that locks on foundation and makes it last. Um, plumps and moisturizes with niacinamide. Niacinamide. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I'll just write it down there. Um, and hyaluronic acid sets in seconds so makeup goes on fast. Skin feels comfortable all day. This one can be used to replace your moisturizer or you can use it um, after moisturizer, obviously. But I'm oily, so I'm just going to replace my moisturizer with this today. And I did play with it when we got it in store and it felt really, really nice. But I only use it on the back of my hand. I feel so naked because usually I start filming and I already have, like, brows on. But I got a new product that I'm going to be using on here and... I'm kind of nervous because it's a powder and I haven't done like, I haven't used a powder. Oh, I need a little bit more. But yeah, but I just want you guys to see the consistency. It's like super runny. It does feel super lightweight though. It feels really nice. You know what? I think next time I use it, I am going to just use my regular moisturizer because it's super lightweight and I feel like this would be okay on top of my moisturizer. So for next time, but... It feels really nice so far. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Urban Decay. This is a primer potion. Ugh. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. It's the original. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. And I also prime my eyebrows because like I said, I always actually, I always have to say this in every fucking video, but I'm oily. So this helps my brows last longer. Cause again, with the like how, with how oily I get, my brows tend to smudge. So this has been helping so much. I've been doing this for like over a year already and it's, it's a cool little tip if you get too oily and you feel like your brows smudge off because of the oils, try this with your favorite eye primer. Okay, so I also got the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. This is the new one. God, Benefit is just killing it with the brow stuff lately. And I got mine in the shade number three. Let's see, what does it say? Get full proof fullness and a soft natural look. This velvety this velvety smooth brow powder instantly adheres to hair and skin. It's super easy, no hard, no hard lines or mistakes. 93% um, said it was easy to apply. It's a 12 hour long wear powder. Ooh. Let's see if that's true because oily and your girl needs long wearing brows. And this is like a sponge tip applicator. Like, that's a sponge right there. That's crazy. Um, I'm not too sure how that's going to work for me. But we'll go ahead and try. This is what it looks like. Again, super cute benefit packaging. And here it is. So, it, this is, like, going to be a good product for beginners. Because it's going to, like, basically tell you that you're going to use a light shade at the front of the brow. And then the dark shade at, like, the arch and the tail. So, that's that. And I feel like this is a good color because, again, I do have, like, super gray hair right now. It's pretty light. So, we're going to go in with that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm scared, but let's see. I went in with that first light color, obviously. This I just, I don't know if I can get done with this 
sponge tip applicator though. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be like hella natural. Yeah, this product isn't like super pigmented, so you can't really fuck it up. <laughs> so isn't it be super easy to use? Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely unnatural, so like a hella natural brow. Which is good, like on those days where I don't feel like wearing like foundation or anything. And I still want my brows to be like a little defined and, you know, so people can actually see that I have eyebrows. Um, this would be, this would be good. So I'm going to go in with the darker part, the darker powder. Yeah, that's all I'm getting. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my angled brush here. This is a Sephora Pro Brow Pencil in the number 20. So I'm going to take the dark shade again. There we go. That's better. Yeah, it's picking up a lot more product. So yeah, if you guys want like a bolder brow, definitely use an angled brush or brow brush. But yeah, I like that color for um, my hair color, obviously. Okay, so that's the brow. I'm just going to go ahead and do um, the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished with the brows and I'm just going to go ahead and set it with the uh, Gimme Brow by Benefit as well. And this one's also in the number three. This stuff is bomb, you guys. Okay, so I just did my basic ass eyeshadow. I think I need to blend a little bit more. But I just used a Modern Renaissance palette. I went in um, with burnt orange, I believe. And then um, red ochre. And then on my lid, I just have Prosecco Pop by... Um, Becca and Jaclyn Hill and then I just lined my eyes I did want to try out a mascara that I got as well um I got the Mons <laughs> the Lancome Monsieur Mon Monsieur I took French for two years ask me if I learned shit nope so this brush actually is kind of similar to the Maybelline um Big Shot mascara I feel like it, it looks pretty similar to me the uh, fuck it we're putting it on Oh, this mascara is really, really black. I cannot talk while I'm doing mascara. I'm gonna fuck up. Okay, so I actually do really like it. Um, usually, I don't care what mascara it is, the first like three, four, the first three or four uses, they're usually kind of like whatever to me because I hate when mascaras are really wet. So as you use them, they start to like dry down a little bit, and that's when um. I start liking mascaras is when they're a little well when they're not as wet they're a little bit more dry and easier to work with so but I think I'm gonna like this one a lot okay so I put on my lashes so lashes are brought to you by Ardell they're the double wispies of course now I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my t-zone again the Sephora Beauty Amplifier this is the mattifying H2O gel primer the bomb my oily skin girls highly recommend but yeah I just put it like kind of in this area of my face because where I get the oily est so I'm actually really excited to try this baby this is the bare minerals of bare pro liquid foundation and I heard so many good things about this mine is in the shade sandalwood number 15 all right Sephora hit me hit me with that info okay so it says it's gonna be a full coverage good for all skin types it's a matte finish and it has an SPF of 20. Um, a skin loving 24 hour breathable full coverage natural matte liquid foundation. And it's also available in 30 colors. We do have a big shade range. Formula is powered by a specially developed mineral lock, a long wear technology that blends mineral pigments with lipids naturally found in skin to lock in all day full coverage. Natural bamboo stem extract. Provides a smooth, soft focus finish while papaya enzymes gently improve skin's texture both immediately and over time. The self-setting foundation is transfer resistant and color true. So it has so many amazing things in this foundation. And we also did get the Luxe Performance brush. So this is the brush that 
is recommended for this foundation, it also came out with it. So I'm going to be using this today. Okay, color looks good. This brush is super dense. So I think I'm going to do um, this side with the brush and I'll do the other side with a beauty blender because I also do want to see how it looks with the beauty blender. You guys, it, honestly, this foundation feels really, really good. With the beauty blender, it's definitely a more sheer with the beauty blender because it's kind of thinning it out. Maybe I should apply some with the brush. Yep, definitely got a fuller coverage with the brush. But it also looks good with the Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to try to keep building up the coverage. Because they're going to have like clogged pores right here too. Because I seriously keep using new skincare and I keep trying stuff out and I messed myself up. <laughs> so I'm going to keep building. Okay, and there it is with the Beauty Blender. It blends out pretty nice. I can still kind of see a little bit of the scarring I have here because I just need to stop picking up my skin. But that's fine. I know it'll lighten up. But you guys, this foundation feels amazing. It feels so lightweight. And my skin looks really good in it. So I got the new Benefit Boing um, Industrial Strength Concealer. I don't think this one's a new one. They came out with two other versions of this too. The industrial strength is going to be the full coverage one. And then they came out with the airbrush one, which isn't as full coverage. And then I think a brightening one, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the one that replaced erase paste. So yeah, if you guys were looking for erase paste, check the boing. But yeah, I got mine in the shade number one. And this is just a full coverage like cream concealer. I'm going to dip into it and I'm going to apply this under my eyes. And I'm usually not a big fan of concealers like this, like in a pot, because I feel like it gets really cakey and like it starts creasing. I don't know, that's just me. I feel like they're just not the same as liquid concealer. And also with these concealers, this is the lightest one. So to all my really fair girls, I don't know if there's going to be like a like super brightening shade for you. Because again, this is number one. Like this is as bright as it gets. Oh, I didn't even read you the information. On the back of the box, it says, you name it, Boing hides it. This full coverage stay put concealer covers everything from dark circles to blemishes and discoloration. So I definitely believe it's a full coverage. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend this out with the Beauty Blender. So yeah, I'm going to bake with the, um, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And... Again, in all the areas I usually bake. Okay, so I went ahead and dusted off the powder, obviously, and I did my bronzer and blush. Um, and now I'm going to go in with the Becca Light Chaser Highlight. Here, I remembered when these were announced. I was, like, so excited for them. But they're a lot smaller than the actual highlighters. Like, watch, let me compare it to Opal here. They're a lot smaller, and then for, I think they're around the same price. So I just never picked one up just because I just couldn't justify paying that much for another highlight. Um, but this one's in the shade Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. So this is what it looks like. And you guys, this is fucking pretty. Um, obviously, this isn't like my everyday type of highlight because it does reflect kind of pink. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to be putting it on today. I really just really, really wanted to try it out. I feel like it's it's looking more champagne-y now that I'm swatching it, but when I first got it, and when I first saw it in store, I felt like it looked super pink. Ooh, that's really pretty, actually. I actually really like that. Hmm. What else I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it in the inner corner as well. Because I don't have anything there anyway. 
And then the last thing I have is the Bare Minerals uh, Gen Nude Matte Lip Color. It's a liquid lip color. And this one's in the shade Boss. So this is what this one looks like. It's like a pretty like mauve color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line real quick. I have the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. And this one is in 3C. Oh my god, these smell... Oh my god. <laughs> this shit smells so good. Legit smells like like chocolate cake batter or something. It smells so... Oh my god. You guys, it's just making me hungry. <laughs> or maybe like... Kind of like a chocolate frosting. I don't know. It smells so good though. It's definitely like a thick moussey formula. So it's going to be comfortable. I know that. As far as long wearing, I'm not too sure though. Again, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so it is currently 5.53. I know I did my makeup hella late today. Um, it's my day off and I was just kind of like being lazy. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be checking back in because I usually don't take off my makeup till pretty late at night anyway. So I'm going to let you guys know how like the concealer is looking, the foundation, the lip color, and the brows. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so I'm doing an update on the foundation. I think it still looks pretty bomb, honestly. Let me see if it focuses. It still looks really good. I'm not like super shiny, um, honestly, compared to that Sephora stick foundation. This is heaven. I actually really like the foundation. It's really comfortable. Oh, it's currently 104. It's pretty late. Um, how long has it been? It's been like a good six, seven hours. I think seven hours. And it looks really good. I'm actually about to take off my makeup though because it's late and I'm getting sleepy. So I don't want to fall asleep with it on. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I do really enjoy it. I'm not super oily right now. And wow, I don't know. I really like it. The color is really nice. So definitely for the foundation, it's going to be a 10 out of 10 would recommend i honestly i really liked it you guys it's comfortable it's lightweight it's buildable it's good for oily skin the concealer looks really good as well i actually really like it, it increased too too bad um i could have applied a little bit more to make it like a fuller fuller coverage like to make sure everything was covered up down there but it looks really good highlight looks bomb the lip color is actually pretty long lasting i've been drinking a lot of water I ate and all of that and it's still on pretty nicely so I like that the brows still look good as well so yeah I really do like that brow powder I actually really liked everything I got the primerizer bomb foundation bomb I forgot the name of the brow product but it's bomb lip color bomb highlight bomb I actually really enjoyed everything I got and I used but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. Bye guys.